Give him the beat. Yeah. Give him the beat. Give him the beat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. -huh. Check it. I'll give you a rock. Yeah. Here we go. Uh. Here it is. Watch this. Yeah. 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 Come on, Jones. Come on, man. He's playing me. He's playing. Hey, let him go. Let him go. <laughs> it's Romano, hold on. It's John Jones in his piece. He was going to freestyle, but he stopped and he tried to make your boy look Yo, wild. You think you're hot, but you're not. I'm from Ooh. Unity Cop. I stumped down in your face and created blood clots. Oh, John let's Jones go. around this town. I don't fuck around the course. I do my things through sports. But I know bums on the street that are running up in this piece. I get back, bang, bang, your brains be standing up my streets. And I, no, just Keep it stay in the streets. It's my dome, baby boy. I'm just aiming high. And nobody gonna stop, because you know we're gonna buy. ESPN, MC Dome, now we're gonna fly. Yeah. Yeah, Let's go. It's all for the hip hop, baby. Let's go. How you feeling, dude? Good. Like John, this is my little girl. This is America. Which one? Hey, America. Which one? This one. This small one. The little one. Hey, America. Hey, buddy. Oh, she's so precious. She is so precious. Hey, buddy. Knuckles. Can I see your cup? Can I see your cup? Can I see your cup? Thank you. Here you go. Yay, 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 yay. Look at that. Give me that. She's precious, man. Huh? What are you saying? You're trying to talk, aren't you? You're trying to talk already. I see you. I see you. Uh oh, she's <laughs> precious, man. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got three girls. Yeah, man. Yeah. Army. She is precious. Fuck <laughs> dogs. I'm so. Since we're gonna introduce you guys, this is uh, Mark Perry, NCAA champ. He has one of the biggest upsets in uh, in college history, man. The dude's uh, he trains some of the best guys in the world. I mean. He's gonna be running you guys. Some of you guys who are not training with John. Just, just some good wrestlers. Let's you guys do it. Bro. So I don't know, Perry. If you want to take him to some workouts or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna lie. I'm fucking jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. You guys are getting worked oh, uh, by fucking the the Perry. So nice. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. Let's still the round, John. Let's still the round. This is what we still the round. Yep. Beautiful. Fuck, you look good, bro. Beautiful. Yeah, move. Yeah, once you, once you, once you start getting more, nice, that looks like a nice angle. Uh, can you pass me the water? Once you start getting going, bro, that's gonna be important for you. Once you get warm up, like, fuck, then I, I start to see, okay, this is how the fight's really gonna be. You know what I mean? Mo, I want you to get a little more aggressive this round with just throwing. Last round. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah, last round, unless you want to do another one, but that's, that's true. Right. Yeah. It's a nice, uh, octagon you guys got here. Oh, yeah. No, it's nice. Shit. No, they got it. They, they got it from my camp. <laughs> Lucky. Yeah, this Lucky. is fucking, uh... Yeah, look at brother ready now. <laughs> yeah, 
know what I'm saying, John? Say. Still let John press you. Still let John, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Still play possum. Let's see if you can catch him in his trap smoke. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Hell yeah. That's key. Yup. Beautiful mo. Yup. Those are the things that people can't see, John. I always pull that shit out of your back pocket. Good. You can't see that, bro. Like, fuck. You can't see it, dude. Even as a heavyweight, man. You can't see some of the shit that he does. There it was. Yup. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I know. I've seen a lot of your fights. One of one of the, one of the, one of your greatest gifts is your composure. You don't. You can be all fucked up and beat up, but you don't show anything in your face, yeah. dude. It's key. Thirty seconds. That's money. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking strangle him, dude. But that, that, that's 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 John's gifts, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like he, 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 Ten seconds. He, his body has the ability of doing shit that uh, you're like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It just snaps it on you. Yup, 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 yup. Time. Beautiful, beautiful. You're good. Oh, I was pegando todo mundo com esse. There's athlete. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think now you could add. You know, it's all about adding, John. You don't have, you know, if you feel it, you can already do it. You don't have to fucking drill something a thousand times. Like, no, understand the feel, understand that concept. It'll just come to you. I promise you. You know what I'm saying? It's all about confidence and attitude. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah? Feel good. Do you want to go over some inside stuff, or do you want to? Um, how are you feeling? Or do you want to? Uh, do you want to work maybe 20 minutes with this dude? And then call 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. Right. Or inside stuff. Man, you the coach. You tell me. Yeah. That's how I am. I listen. Yeah. Okay. I'm following your lead. Okay. You no, no, no. I, I'm giving you an option. If you want to do another <laughs> round, or if you want, you want. Or, or I'll, we start, I'll, I'll drill. Okay. Or we can mix it up with a different partner. I think this is year three. I've been working with him now. Uh, yeah, year three, and I'm still learning, man. Still learning. Shit, year 12 of me doing MMA, and I'm still learning. In the moment, I get to watch him do things and be successful at it, and I get to go and try it on our, our other teammates that we have in the gym. So um, just being in the room and the coaching and everything like that, you know, you, you pick up a lot. Um, I'm a student of the game, so there's always a lesson to be learned at any point in time in, in training. So I pick up a lot from him daily. He's the best in the world. He's a GOAT. Um, but the fact that he's, I don't feel like he lost any pep in his step, you know? I mean, I've been training with him for, like I said, this is year three, and, you know, the dedication to, the, to his craft and how he breaks stuff, stuff down and, you know, how he explains things is just, it's different, man. It's different. And uh, it's helped me in, in my fighting and being an athlete. It's helped me in learning how to find that dog, you know? I'm learning how to find that dog and learning how to, um, get my mind right is what I, what I call it, but just mentally getting there, you know? Um, there's a lot of physical stuff we can do like we do in the gym, but uh, it, a lot of this game is mental too, and uh, you got to get to a place to go in there and endure, you know? John matches up with any heavyweight in the division well. He's a GOAT. I think he beats everybody. So, um, you know, I'm sure he's been looking to fight for a while, and there's been a lot of, a lot of, a lot of guys that, you know, wouldn't sign the contract, not ready. Well, Cyril's ready, and it's going to happen. And the comeback is uh, going to happen March 4th. I mean, when you get in there, there's always going to be, there could be obstacles, right? There could be obstacles, and uh, you know, things that you kind of didn't anticipate. But you know, his fight IQ is up here. Again, he's the goat, and he will adapt. It's a flow. You gotta understand where to direct the water. The water's coming in hard. You gotta go with it. Yeah. But this is perfect. Ten more minutes. Let's work position. This isn't a conditioning thing. This is all about learning and uh, understanding entries. And if you have questions, ask. Five. Four. Three. Two. One time.
guys, uh, you guys, heavyweights, you guys want to bring it in? Sir. That's good job, man. You got anything, man? What you feel like you learned today? Oh, um, thanks so much. Like your angles right away are just on point. Like you can, I can see the subtleness. And that's really what it is, bro. Like we can drill something, but when you actually really do it live, it's like, it's like, that's the difference. It's literally a fucking inch. I really love how you have it on current just really uh, like it was almost like a spar pace but just limiting their their offensive tools and just allow me to see the same thing over and over again and just allow my creativity and timing to kind of do what it wants to do um, um yeah that's what that's that's one thing i really enjoy it was just being able to almost spar without sparring and get that live feel because i do a lot of drilling or sparring i don't do enough playing around like that, where you're working on one specific uh, counter, specific counter. You so. know why I like it though, John? It's because I'm not focused on competing. A lot of times, especially us as wrestlers, especially being a legend, bro, everybody's not going to try to compete with you. And then you're going to be like, no, 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 I'm a fucking big dog. <laughs> well, you said, no, 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 take the competing out of it. We take the competing out of it. This is why I like, this is, this is like the majority of my campus like that. All of it's actually like that. And then, yeah, that comes that Saturday. It's like, all right, guys, he's, he, he, they pay him. If you can submit him, you, get, you, you, know, you, get a, you make $100. If you can drop him, you know, to the body, dude, like, you know, you need to get, you need to get compensated. Like, you know what I mean? But, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's learning, bro. I think, I think, you know, even take that piece. You're not just here to get technique out of it. It's like, no, bro. Remember, you're the CEO of your career. Snatch and take piece, pieces of everything and turn it into your own. You know, what I offer is experience. You know what I mean? I'm a thinker, bro, and like having Everton here, I'm just like, bro, I can I can already see that it, it's added to my game. It's not gonna change my style, but it's added to my game. When you add to your game, that's when you evolve. You know what I mean? Like, you constantly have to you constantly have to evolve. So it's, it's an everyday uh, it's an everyday inch game. It, it's all biomechanic, dude. You learn this at your first seven lesson. <laughs> really, and I'm like I'm not doing that right. It's, it's funny. That no, no, but the same shit for fundamentals. Me. This dude's nitpicking the shit out. Of the same thing, like the same thing he's telling you, he's telling me. You're, you're and I'm just step. like, okay, okay, that's that IQ. That's that's the IQ. What is it that I'm gonna do in that split second? That's when really how smart you are, how witty you are. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 you're gonna be all straight. You're gonna be all straight. You know what I'm saying, John? Oh, yeah. One round, one round, one round, one round. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. John, yeah. just real quick as a fan, you know, you got your coach, but, you know, everybody that's going to watch is a fan. Just, you haven't fought in, in, in a little bit. The reason everybody loves you is because you're so fucking violent. Don't forget to stay violent. Violence is key, bro. As a fan, like, I want to I wanna see if he's going to split you open, knock you off, front kick you until your soul comes out. You know, like, just... I love him. I love him. Pull that little you bitch out of there. They have it, you know what I mean? Uh, Pull that little bitch out of there, bro. You can do it. I love him, dude. I love him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Loud and clear. Yeah. Loud and clear. Yeah, pull, <laughs> yeah, pull it right out. Yes. Let him know. Good shit, bro. <laughs> just reflecting on my last few days that I had with Jones it's uh Jones is a student of the game and I think people need to recognize that it's like you can teach him one thing he comes back the next day and it's almost he almost becomes flawless you know his uh it's 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 crazy to see the still the potential of how great and how good Jones could still could still become you know he's, he's a man who's ran uh, who, who has the god-given ability and when you, when you teach a guy who has ability, a technique that has discipline like himself and, and is willing to learn, I mean, that's what equals a straight GOAT status. So I think that's, that's what puts John Jones into a league of his own. It's a simple fact that he finds the right engineers, he comes in, he's humble, he, he's all ears. Um, it's, it's what every coach would want, man. You would want, you want a good student. You want somebody that, that really retains the, the information that you're giving or, or somebody that would be like, hey, coach, what about this? Somebody that could also give you feedback, too. So, John Jones is as good as he is. He's still getting better.
as good as John Jones is, he's still getting better, and that's just scary. So whether it's Francis, Cyril Gain, uh, Stipe Miocic, I mean, there's so many there's so many top heavyweights out there, but they're only but little do they know that they're only gonna help John Jones's legacy, and it's and that's just the facts. Yeah, and obviously we couldn't show a lot of a lot of the training because we don't don't want to give Gon any of that uh, any of those pointers to look at. But what what did you work on with John in those in those couple days without without giving away too much? Um, a strategy, strategy, tactician, just adjusting him. He has, he already has the right game plan. You know, whatever it is that this John decides to do, I'm like John. If you have the right game plan, stick to it. Stick to it, and that, that, that's what makes you dangerous, John, is the fact that you're willing to stay disciplined throughout the whole fight with the game. But now, if you have to adjust, then you know how to do that. You've been competing longer than these guys. At the end of the day, these guys are your fans. These guys are literally your fans, man. These guys want, these guys respect you so much that you don't even have to say anything to them. Like, they know who you are. And I think that's also, like, it, it's, it's important for John to get that, uh, you know, to get edified by somebody who he respects, which is myself, man. Somebody who's been there before, you know, in wrestling and in, uh, and, and in mixed martial arts. So it, it helps, it boosts his confidence, but it also just gives him that security. He's like, hey, I am that good. And if you guys watched the first episode that we had of, uh, you know, Return of the Goat, he's like, yeah, yeah, like real talk. And then we know we talk things behind the camera, just like, you know, you still have to adjust people, even me, including myself. Like, I still need somebody to hold me accountable. I still need somebody to tell me. And sometimes I feel like coaches don't do that enough. You know, whether they pinpoint your flaws or they just edify you. They tell you how good you are because you need that, you need that self-esteem. You need that confidence going in there. And, uh, you know, just to, you know, I just, I just, I pretty much just tweaked them, adjusted some things, added some things, had position, things like that. And uh, I just, I just can't share the rest, man. But I will say this: zero gain, zero gain ain't going five rounds. He ain't going five rounds with John Jones. Well, I started training with Henry over a year ago, and um, I was uh, I just happened to be in town actually. Uh, my kids had a volleyball tournament here in town, and I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone, come see a good friend and um, and support my daughter's volleyball. And I'm glad I did come out here. Henry is just so intelligent and uh, such a great leader and tactician and, and uh, it's just been great. Um, Henry is just, uh, he's just super passionate about MMA, man. And it, it's the details, you know, angles and, and um, it's really just the details. It's the fine print when it comes to Henry. That's what makes him special. So you're still thinking about it, but maybe you'll work with Henry um, in the long run for the fighters, that's something you're still kind of thinking about. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to have Henry uh, coaching me for this this serial game fight. Um, hopefully our schedules can align and we can get on the same page and uh, he could be one of my corners. So thank you guys again for watching. It means a lot to me. So you guys remember there's more breakdowns, there's more technique, there's more tactics, and there's definitely more cringe. So make sure to subscribe and click on that button. I'm out!